This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Not a good sign. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Authorized oh, motor sure. pool workers only. God. <gasps> I don't like that there's someone there. Yeah. Damn. Shot on sight. Um, can't say I'm excited for that. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Yeah, I am guessing we're gonna find something and it's gonna be a person or a dead person. I'm not sure Damn. which one it's I'm jammed tight. More scared uh for because uh this is a weird point of view. <laughs> Better not get too close. Have you been? Yeah, she's out for revenge. Molly? Okay, I think he's dead, actually. Molly! What? I think you got it. Yeah, right? One more! <laughs> okay, well, you're making a ruckus, and you're getting blood he's everywhere. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, hmm. well, I bet they perform he makes shit now. Um, some kind of procedures. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. I just took that mysterious oh, yeah. shadow thing that I saw it was her. Him a thousand times over. You should have got him in his head, Molly. In his Take head. Take a look around. Not his I'll make sure no stragglers get stomach. under this door. Because he's still moving. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. That blinking must be an anti theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. The 
can't reach it up there. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like it. this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. So we shall look at everything else before I go in that other room. But I don't think there's anything else anyway. It's locked. No way in. Okay, well. Good attempt. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Mm. I bet Molly has something to cut something with. Finding anything. Like, I want to find something to cut it with, but. Looks like Crawford already used this battery for something else. Do you have any knowledge of anything? Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what Didn't I call her. Don't before? judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Oh, if we, like, hurt Hilda, it won't be good. No power. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Okay. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! Uh... I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Oh my god, we're Still almost gonna to be out of time. Uh, I'm trying to get it. I feel like it's on the right thing. Still okay. attached to the terminals. Oh my god, I thought I got them all. Got that one off! I don't know how many times it's I have to turn it off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Great. Now what? Shut. Shoot it out! Oh. Oh 
almost like did not even like grab a hand. I was like, that'd be really bad if I just fell. <laughs> not that I don't think I'd be able to redo it, but still. Oh my god. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Probably any murdering some people or something. Alright. Did you guys... I... You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. I went through all that and they're still in the same exact position as before. Sure. each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Mm. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might oh, be at the nurse's office. The same thing over here. battery would yeah. probably be at the auto shop out through here. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together kept us alive so you're a cancer survivor like Vernon and the others yeah I was diagnosed when I was in college been getting treatment ever since just when I was starting to get better when I thought there might be some hope all this happened lost my whole family I'm the only one who survived funny how things work out huh what do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. <laughs> If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Yeah. 
guess uh, everyone's giving me the same responses since... The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Okay, well, maybe I'll try and help with the medicine again, although they're still going to be standing by that door. Easier to shoot. They wandered into oh the hallway God. after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place Rooted is infested. Here. They're everywhere. Oh Calm down. That changes everything. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Calm Looks like down. they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open. Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. This reminds me of Life is Strange. Look, there are so many codes you don't look around for. rest or... later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. What Not is that it this? matters with no power around here. What are this? Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Phones probably haven't worked in months. Not working. Hmm. Oh. Vernon, Krista, work. come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak, 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Is that the doctor that Molly... Uh, Damn it, was we up? almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's I bet another she take. Knows. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. I bet she knows that. 
He was one of the walkers yeah, yeah, out in the yeah. alley by the auto shop. Maybe yeah. you should search it, see what he's got on him. But I kind of want to figure out the code. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Yeah, a little odd. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're going to force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. We have to get it open now. But I don't want to shoot it open. It seems kind of silly. Uh, already cleaned out. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Yeah, 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 I thought so. There's some scissors on the floor. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it cut someone punching it in. Oh. No tape inside. Hmm. But is there another tape? Because we already looked at that one. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Mm. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mm, mandatory. So you don't have to tell watch them. him try tell to punch these numbers in. But you gave me this something kind of for it away. away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Press the now, numbers. if you like, you can take Press some time with this. Hey. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Okay, so I guess watching it back didn't help at all. I just wasn't sure if I dismissed How's something. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back on that. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Let me just double check over here. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely gonna have to be on the, that doctor's body or something. <laughs> 